Welcome sa part 1 ng unang lesson natin. Patterns and Numbers in Nature and the World Pattern defined as regular, repeated, recurring forms or design. Pattern in nature are visible regularities of form found in the natural world. These patterns recur in different contexts and can sometimes be modeled mathematically. Kahit saan tayo tumingin at pumunta, marami tayong makikita ang patterns. Halimbawa, ang bawat design ng skyscrapers, yung layout ng floor tiles, at kung paano tayo magsintas ng sapatos at marami pang iba. Natural patterns include symmetries, trees, spirals, menders, waves, forms, tessellation, cracks, and stripes. Studying patterns helps students in identifying relationships and finding logical connection to form generalizations and make, make predictions. Halimbawa, Which of the figures can be used to continue the series given below? From left to right, the arrow rotates each column 45 degrees clockwise. So the answer is letter D. In this series of pattern, meron tayong tatlong object. The black square, circle, at itong arrow na to. Isa-isahin natin ang movement nila. Una, yung black square. Nagmumove yung black square natin from left to right sa bawat row. Yung susunod na movement niya ay dapat nasa lower, left, lower right corner na. Sa choices natin, yung apat na choices, lahat ng black square ay nasa lower right corner. Hindi pa natin ma-identify ang sagot. So next natin ay yung circle, yung movement ng circle. Is in the clockwise direction from left to right. Ibig sabihin, nasa lower right corner din ang posisyon ng uh, circle. Sa pagpipilian natin, A and C lang, both the black square and circle, ay nasa lower right corner. So, ibig sabihin, isa sa kanila ang tamang sagot. Para ma-identify natin, yung tamang sagot, yung pangatlong object ang magsasabi ng tamang sagot. So, therefore, letter C ang sagot. Dito, meron tayong box, upper box and lower boxes. Observe nyo yung first, third, and fifth upper box. Lahat sila, yung tatlong yan ay meron tiga-anim na dot. Ibig sabihin, ang pangpito ay meron ding anim na dot. So, dito sa choices natin, yung letter B and C, lang ang merong anim na dot sa upper box. Next nating titingnan yung lower box. Kung yung first figure merong dalawang dot at yung third figure merong tatlo at yung limang panglimang figure merong apat, ibig sabihin yung pangpitong figure niyan ay meron ng limang dot doon sa lower box niya. Between B and C, si C yung may lem, uh, limang dot sa lower box. So therefore, the answer is letter C. Next, unang tingnan natin dito ang direction ng arrow. So dapat, ang next dito ay downward. Dito sa choices natin, A and B lang ang pwede natin pagpipilian. Next nating i-observe is yung number ng sides o yung relationship ng 1 and 2 at yung relationship ng 3 and 4. Si 1 merong 3 sides. Si 2 merong 4 sides. 
So, kung si 3 ay merong 6 na sides, therefore, yung pang-apat ay dapat merong 7 sides. So, the answer is letter A. What number comes next? 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, each term is 2 more than the previous term. So, therefore, yung susunod na number dyan is 11. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.